Precision medicine is really important by now because uh, uh, all our research in oncology is increasingly uh, focusing on this, uh, on this attitude where uh, you try to um, identify the precise uh, uh, tumor uh, genetic subtype and immune environment. And then uh, all this heterogeneity that you have in cancer in general, this is uh, extremely relevant in multiple myeloma because you have this heterogeneity at all levels, at the level of uh, interpatient, uh, in intrapatient, also uh, it's a dynamic heterogeneity during, throughout all the uh, different stages of the disease. So all this complexity, it's uh, complicated to uh, deal with it and uh, uh, artificial intelligence can help that because uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the, the real idea of uh, machine learning. So you use very uh, rich data uh, to explore uh, very complex problems. Uh, the problem in, uh, in, this, in, the, in most of the cases is that uh, even if the modalities are very rich, so the, there is the information in the data set, but the data set are very sparse, uh, especially for very complex problems. So uh, now uh, the, the, the true issue is to combine a uh, data set large enough to solve the problem. And typically this is possible when the data are not uh, sensitive or when there are no privacy or uh, regulation reasons, but uh, it's uh, uh, a more an issue in uh, health science. And so in Okin we provide a, a new different, a, a different kind of solution where we leverage uh, federated learning technology where the data do not uh, travel, uh, they stay uh, in the centers, so providing security, and it's the model that uh, uh, travel around the, the different data sets. So different models learn on different data sets, on different centers, and then the training is uh, uh, orchestrated and, uh, uh, by, by a central model, which then can combine the information while keeping the privacy and the data where they are. Was actually what happens for multiple myoma happens for all other indications and especially the possibility to explore different modalities like also histopathology, it's a very rich feature, so a very rich uh, um, modality of data where uh, uh, machine learning and uh, uh, artificial intelligence can uh, do a lot because uh, uh, years and years of uh, uh, computer vision has helped us, has helped us to, uh, to explore this kind of data. And then uh, uh, several multimodal data, multimodal uh, models can uh, explore how to interact with all these modalities. So yeah, definitely, that's, uh, that's a very rich uh, uh, field of research.